Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Balfat. His Royal Highness Deputy of His Majesty the King and Crown Prince Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa today received the newly appointed Nepalese Ambassador to the Kingdom of Bahrain, Padam Sundas, at Gadaibiya Palace. The Deputy of His Majesty the King stressed the importance of developing bilateral relations between Bahrain and Nepal, including economic and commercial ties, and strengthening the role of the private sector, emphasizing the Kingdom's commitment to exploring new avenues for mutually beneficial cooperation. His Royal Highness welcomed the newly appointed appointed ambassador to the kingdom and wished him every success in his new diplomatic role. The Nepalese ambassador expressed his appreciation for the opportunity to meet the deputy king and emphasized his commitment to exploring ways in which collaboration between Bahrain and Nepal can be expanded. His Honor Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa attended a ceremony yesterday held under his auspices at Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa Park in Muharraq, marking the National Day. Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman Al Khalifa extended congratulations to the wise leadership, wishing Bahrain continued security and stability under the comprehensive development process led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Highness praised the great popular participation in the celebrations held in the various governorates of the Kingdom of Bahrain to celebrate the National Day, which affirmed the love for this land and the sincere national feelings of the people of Bahrain for the country and its leadership. Sheikh Mohammed expressed his pleasure at the participation of the people of Muharraq Governorate in this celebration, praising the organization and preparation of this celebration, thanking all those who contributed to the success of this event. The governor of Muharraq Salman bin Hindi gave a speech in which he extended good wishes to the leadership of Bahrain on the occasion of the National Day, wishing Bahrain further progress under the prosperous era of His Majesty the King. The Deputy Governor of Muharraq, Brigadier Zahir al Absi, said that the celebration is an extension of successive achievements on all levels. During the ceremony, poems and uh, Arda dance were performed. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman bin Hamad al Khalifa, accompanied by Salah bin Isa bin Hindi, was briefed on the various events held on the occasion.
The Speaker of the Representatives Council, Ahmed bin Ibrahim al Mullah, chaired today the Council's weekly meeting. The Council reviewed and commented on the government's replies to 20 proposals, including the severing of commercial and diplomatic ties with Iran, as well as aerial and maritime navigation, and banning citizens from traveling to Iran. The Kingdom of Bahrain strongly condemns the launching of a ballistic missile by the terrorist militias in Yemen that targeted the city of Riyadh in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia in a cowardly attack that confirms the negative and serious role played by the Islamic Republic of Iran in supporting the Kupis militias in Yemen and to undermine the efforts to reach a peaceful solution. The Kingdom of Bahrain reaffirms its solidarity to the brotherly Kingdom of Saudi Arabia against any attempt to threaten its security and stability. It also reiterates its support for for all policies and measures taken to counter all forms of terrorism and preserve the stability of the region. The Kingdom of Bahrain reaffirms its unwavering stance with the legitimate Yemeni government, led by President Abdurrabbu Mansour Hadi, through its participation in the Arab Coalition for the Support of Legitimacy in Yemen. It also stresses the need to reach a comprehensive political solution to end all foreign interventions in Yemen and stop the suffering of the Yemeni people in accordance with the Gulf Initiative and its executive mechanism, the outcomes of the National Dialogue and the Security Council Resolution 2216. A very good evening. You're watching the Business News in Bahrain International with me, Hiba Abdul Ghaffour. Bahrain All Share Index has closed at 1,268.89 points, marking an increase of 3.3 points above the previous closing. The increase was in the commercial bank sector, where investors mainly traded, representing 82% of the total value of traded shares. 81 equity transactions took place, including 6,597,999 shares, worth 819,940 Bahraini dinars. The Central Bank of Bahrain announced that the monthly issue of Sukuk al Salem Islamic Securities has been subscribed by 100%. Subscriptions worth 43 million Bahraini dinars were received for the issue, which carries a maturity of 91 days. The expected return on the issue is 2.98%, compared to 2.72% for the previous issue. This is the issue number 200 for the short term Sukuk al Salem series. The government of the Kingdom of Bahrain has announced that the Economic Development Board has opened 14 offices in several Arab and foreign countries, including Saudi Arabia, UAE, Turkey, India, China, Japan, France, Germany and the United States. Moreover, in a response to a parliamentary proposal to open commercial attaches in the Kingdom's overseas embassies, the government confirmed that the offices of the Economic Development Board are in coordination with the Kingdom's embassies in setting up promotional and marketing events for promising projects and investment opportunities in the Kingdom through organizing meetings with foreign companies and investors.